Graham Hill sponsors Joshua versus Molina on Sky Sports Box Office. This is Cougan Kessler's Rifle Team in association with Matkins and Marbella at the press conference here for Joshua vs Molina. With me I've got now trainer to anti Joshua, Ron McCracken. How are you mate? How are you Coogan? All good? Yeah, good. So finally, you're in the corner uh, this Saturday night for the first time. Um, yeah, must be, must be a good feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's a big fight. It's a heavyweight title defence. Anthony's looking forward to it. And obviously, Molina's a capable opponent. He's a dangerous opponent. So everybody's got to be on their job. And, and especially AJ's got to be switched off. Um, you know, Eddie Earn said in that press conference that there's going to become fights now where he's going to sort of need that advice between the corners uh, from yourself. And you see that moving forward, uh, a critical part of Anthony's career, that you can help with that. Yeah, well, hopefully, and I think that obviously the fighters do the fighting and stuff, and um, you know, hopefully, I can guide him through the fights and give him the, the te technical and tactical stuff that he needs to to continue on the journey and, and be very successful. But yeah, he's got to be switched on. Eric's a good fighter, and um, yeah, it's nice working with Anthony. He's receptive, and in the fight, when the pace goes up, he's got to show that he's, he can be calm and be smart at times, and and box a bit when he needs to, and fight a bit when he needs to. And uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see uh, how he develops over the next few years. But yeah. It's one, of course, I'm, 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 very, I'm looking forward to a lot. Obviously, you've maintained some sort of relationship with Anthony over, over the years, and he's said openly that he seeks your advice over things, but you two working together now uh, uh, properly uh, can only really push him forward. Yeah, hopefully, but, you know, boxing's a very tough business and all the fights are difficult and tough, and, you know, it's heavyweight boxing, the opponent's dangerous, got good power, so... Um, each fight's each fight's a test at this weight now, and especially defending the heavyweight title. There won't be no easy opponents for Anthony now. He knows that. I know that. So it's his job and my job to really get the work done and, and, and him be successful in these fights and learn something from them. That's the main thing that he learns. He, he beats Eric Molina Saturday night. He, he wants to learn something and move on, so he's better equipped for the next stage. Um, obviously, I've, I've seen some comments, Rob. But you know, you've drawn comparisons between uh, you know Carl Frotch, who you know spent so much time with uh, over the years and anti Joshua could you just explain yeah, what it's, you said? it's the work ethic and the discipline yes. and the desire um, Frotch would do anything to, to, to in training to win a fight he'd do any work you asked him to do he'd turn up whatever time you need him to do Anthony's exactly the same it's, it's you know every now and again you get a fighter that's got the desire will do whatever it takes and will put the work in and live the life have the discipline and they've got similar traits and Anthony settled down he, when he first turned professional obviously he was not long out of the amateurs and he was still probably having the odd late night and stuff but you know my experience with Anthony of late is he's totally disciplined focused and uh, he'll do whatever it takes work wise and, and lifestyle wise to, to get where he, where he needs to get Frost was exactly the same all right, just finally, Rob. Obviously, we keep seeing Carl Frotch make comments about Golovkin still. He's been retired for, for for a while now. Can you ever see it happening again? No, no, no. Carl's, Carl's. I think Carl's 39 now, and he's, um, yeah, I think he's had his his, his breathing difficulties with his nose ad nose addressed and stuff. So no, Carl, Carl won't box again. And you know, he, I know he gets drawn into conversations and that, but you know, he he, he was a tremendous fighter, Carl Frotch, and uh, you know, I've got a lot of time and admiration for him. Very close to him. And um, I wish him a successful retirement, but no boxing for him. No boxing for him. All right, Rob McCracken, thanks for all the time. I know you're on your way out, so we'll catch up with you soon, mate. All right? Cheers, Coop. Thank you.